Hello everyone, I'm Chinese Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Kaiserreich in the final episode for this campaign. So, probably the biggest thing you'll notice is to our left. We have a massive Sud West Africa. Yeah, basically, I took out the Germans, and I kind of wanted, like, one big old African state. Angola is part of the third international, international, and that's why I didn't take them out. Um, I did manually take out... Normally, you no, know, just Ethiopia, Somalia, they were pretty easy to take out. Uh, South Africa, not too bad. I released Sud West Africa just because I wanted someone with a unique book history that I knew of. So they're basically the German government in exile. You know, a new Stadt Hitler, the middle Africa claim. But uh, they went with a democratic mandate because we're social democrats, which is really cool. However, they're focused a united Namibia. Only one land fort for 70 days worth of stuff? That doesn't seem very good. Anyways, um, anything else regarding Asia? Not really. Um, the United States owned this piece of New Guinea. Guinea? I think it's New Guinea. How would we pronounce it? Anyways, so yeah, this is America, and this was a pain in the butt. I mean, so first of all, how does America own Canada? Well, when I was doing this off screen, I tried to invade Canada because we were at war with them, right? The Commonwealth of Canada. I went from Hawaii, which I annexed, but uh, I couldn't get up here. I I didn't invade Vancouver Island, which I own right now, but I invaded British Columbia, this little island. How from here, this little island. I didn't know this existed. Kamchak Kamchatka. 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 I'm saying it wrong, whatever. So I invaded this island, but the thing is, with naval invasion support here, the Union of Britain invaded Canada, invaded Vancouver Island, as well as other parts of the coast, and then did the same thing on the other side, and eventually the Canadian government fell to the Third International, not because of me. And I only invaded like this little piece of territory, so I decided, you know what, just give me Vancouver Island, I'll be okay, and this is how we've kind of managed since then. Um, so, how did America get involved in the war against Canada and me and all stuff like that? So, uh, basically, let's see, I want to spread these guys out just a little bit more. Uh, ooh, two divisions, eh, might be a bit of one there. Ooh. A little bit of lag there, but uh, manpower is okay. So basically, I was at peace. I went to war with Haiti and the Dominican Republic, preparing myself, preparing myself, preparing myself. But uh, Mexico went to war w against Central America, which was like a republic or something, and they still have them as a puppet, which is cool. Central America, they're syndicalists now, but they were guaranteed by the United States, which pissed them off. And the United States then went to war with Mexico. Because Mexico is in the third international, then they called everyone in, including Canada. Canada's gone. They're still here in Newfoundland and Halifax or Nova Scotia, I guess. So, Canada. Socialist Commonwealth of Canada under Humphrey Mitchell. They're not doing so great. Then again, I'm not doing so great earlier. Uh, if you've taken a look at my armies, you'll see that actually, I don't have as many armies as I did before. And uh, I've lost a couple divisions. <laughs> Invading America sucks. It really, really sucks. It's 1953. And holy cow, I invaded Florida with some mechanized divisions. And they were doing really well for a while. Because the Third International was invading them like crazy. And they've also invaded uh, California as well, but whatever. But their strength... I, I checked. America, the United States, they're led by Quentin Roosevelt of all people. Kind of crazy, I know. A little crazy. They're out of manpower. Unscraping the barrel. They're still mobilizing, I think, technically. And they went a mass assault doctrine. But holy cow, after I got into, like, mid-Georgia and, and a good chunk of Alabama, they started just destroying my divisions. The only saving grace was that I started pulling out divisions so that I could reinforce Florida a little bit more. That's why I still have, I'm trying to pull up even more divisions uh, from other places. And where is that from? Oh, no, it might be you I'm pulling more divisions from. But I pulled more divisions. I lost a couple divisions. Like I said, my tank divisions. I lost at least four. I lost at least... Actually, for this army, I lost like <laughs> ten. Because I got rid of one army. Took some of the manpower back to use that. You know, buffed up his army. And I buffed up this guy's army a little bit more. Because some of his divisions were also overran. And then some of these guys are just somewhat fresh, newer divisions. So, it's been hell. Here are the casualties. So, America's lost over five million. 2.4 million to me. I lost 1.15. I was surprised that I lost that many divisions, but, you know, it's America. What do you expect? Third International, they've been invading and doing okay-ish in some areas. 
They've lost over 16 million. Invading America is never a good idea, especially late game. Never, never, never a good idea. It was frustrating doing this. It really was quite frustrating. Um, I guess I could use more supplies, I suppose. I really don't care at this point. At this point, America, <coughs> her armies are really kind of not what they used to be. So, in the meantime, I've just been doing like little blitzes. Like, like, I'll tell my guys to go and then stop. Like, see what they can do. Because the air support America has in her own homeland, it's insane. It's nuts. It's crazy. Only now do I have, like, actual good air support. I even had to put, um, more ground crews down here. They have a lot of planes. Holy crap. And Appalachia. Actually, we've nuked America a lot of times. <clears throat> I personally nuked, like, Tennessee, like, ten times. Just not because I hate Tennessee. I kind of like Tennessee. It's a weird state. But, uh, just because I saw that the Third International was also nuking, uh, parts of Kentucky, Appalachia, Charleston. Which is kind of nuts to see. Alright, stop attacking, stop attacking. Uh, you're not winning there. Stop attacking, stop attacking, stop attacking. Stop, 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 stop. You don't have the strength for that. But, I'm doing quite a bit better. You should have seen some of these tank divisions. They were really bad. Like, half strength after, like, America overran, like, half of them. Oh my god, it was so bad. Holy cow. And this is why I like to do it off screen. Just because it takes forever to do this. And it's frustrating. It's pretty frustrating. But I do have a cup of Chinese coffee here. Cool. Um, did a lot more of this stuff. Ship designs. Death charge throwers. I mean, there's really no point to do any of this stuff. I could tell you about... Ooh, tor torpedoes. Torpedoes are cool. But, uh, they're navy. Now, before I left you last time... Oh, hold on. I can nuke Texas. I want to nuke Texas. They had over a thousand ships. I destroyed so many ships. It's not even funny. I've destroyed over 1,600 ships. That's the older. I've destroyed 430 destroyers, 52 subs, 257 cruisers, 16 heavy ships, a carrier, and seven over 1,100 convoys. I've destroyed... I've, I have destroyed a lot of ships. Now, I'm sure the Third International has destroyed quite a few as well. But uh, I've got nine nukes. And I will gladly nuke Texas several times just because they were such a problem to get rid of. Nuke their victory points. Little Rock. I've been to Little Rock, actually. Didn't spend much time there. I actually went to Arkansas. Drove through to Little Rock, I suppose. Oh, there goes Little Rock. Now it's quite hot. But, uh, yeah. Kind of like Arkansas. Kind of a cool, cool place. Um, never going to go back, though, probably. <laughs> I'll send the Marines are attacking over a river. That'll be okay. Good. But yeah. Ah, look. Oklahoma City. Washington, D.C. never fell. And I'm not sure how I'm going to balkanize America. Canada will remain Canada. I think I might just take all the left coast. Left? Yeah, it's on the left. Um, west coast? Yeah. I might do that. Even though I invaded the south. I kind of want them. What's the worst score participation stuff like? 30%? That's not bad. I might just take the west coast and the south and leave the midwest and New England for like Communist France, Union of Britain, stuff like that. Cool. Try it again. Yeah, at this point, I've really had to do a lot of damage to the American army off screen. Oh my god, I hated this so much. Oh, there goes another nuke. I don't think I sent that one. Yeah, people have been nuking like crazy. Um, send you right there, it doesn't matter. Hopefully, it doesn't matter. Oh god, yeah, a lot of planes. Holy crud. Zang, die. I'm sure they're still mobilizing. Yeah, they're mobilizing just a little bit. Still a couple divisions, but still got a lot of factories. Ooh, something down here. Mexico. They capitulated, but they're still they still own Veracruz, which is kind of cool. And Brazil was their puppet, so yeah, Brazil looks like a mess. Yeah, actually, if I take the west coast and the south. I think that'd be okay. That'd be fair, actually, kind of. Just because... I don't want to split my forces up. Yeah, Mexico won't get anything. But the Third International will get quite a bit of Brazil. Actually, all of Brazil. Actually. Did I lose? I did lose this. That sucks. Suriname, that's where I showed you guys last time I had some territory there. Um, You guys could probably... Honestly, at this point, you guys could probably keep it up. Yeah, they can't really do much against... Well, they can kind of hold out against us for a while. Can't nuke there either. Sucks. Oh well. Can I... Can I... Washington? 
Can, can I can I go nuke? That'd be lovely if I could. That'd be amazing if I could. Uh, go be stop. Yeah, go be stop. Because we can push into Texas and the rest of the south. Well, I guess maybe not Kentucky. That's part of the south. Yep, they pushed us out. They're still pretty strong in some areas. Sucks. Oh well. It, it's definitely not as bad as it was before. Holy cow. I almost ran out of manpower. That's why I delete a couple of my divisions. You guys... You should be okay. Where are you guys at? Bracket shooting? You're still in Japan. Hanging out, having a good time there. Come to... Vancouver Island. Research. Super good nut holes, because why not? Liberate Canada. Oh! It looks like America's doing pretty well against... Nova Scotia. Oh. I've kind of given up looking at resources. I really don't care too much. <clears throat> Can you guys do well here, maybe? No, in some places, very much no. In some places, very much yes. I have some Marines now, some Mountaineers, good stuff like that. We've broken into Kentucky a little bit, just a barely. West Virginia, Virginia is going to be tough to take out. Um, actually, I'm going to reform the front line since we don't need a guard against the Third International. I don't. I don't have no plans to take out the Third International. My goal is to get rid of all major nations that were part of the beginning of the century of humiliation, including the UK. So Canada was gone, which is good. France, they're long dead. Germany, I personally took them out. Um, Russia, obviously, Russia is mine. Japan is mine. Poland, they weren't involved, but I took them out anyways because they're part of Russia. Oh, I did fix up the Balkans, though. I got rid of Transylvania just because it was getting kind of ugly and made Hungary and Romania bigger. Uh, Bulgaria, we traded some territory. I don't know why Sud Af Sud West Africa took this desert territory. I really don't know why. Whatever. And made sure that this looks... This just looks better. Yeah. I like this a lot better. If this was, like, in real life, that'd be, that'd be actually pretty cool. Uh, the Greeks don't like that, though. Neither do all the Albanians. I got rid of them. Yeah. Oh, well. I uh, left Germany alone for the most part, too. Uh, Morocco's there. Not much has really changed, except... Oh. Mm, might want to be careful about how much we attack here. Oh, Yang. Do you have any... Yang? This is, a, this is not part of the Yang gang. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. Oh, we took Seattle. And Olympia. Actually. <laughs> Seattle. Olympia. Huh, huh. Oh, old world blues. Uh, Washington Brotherhood. Alright, let's resume. Looking at this, at least. You guys can probably take these guys out. Yep, there goes their strength. I love it. So the south, the deep south Appalachia. Yeah, look at how many fighters I have for this. It's insane how many fighters I had to put for this. I actually ran out of jet fighters. Actually, I'm already out of jet fighters. You can tell I don't even have these up to 100 yet. Um, this should be okay. I'm not exactly where or sure where all these armies are at. Who's where, you know, but whatever. So I had even pulled some regular fighters for this, too. Oof. Oops. And... Yeah. Naval bombers, we got 12,000 naval bombers. I think that's enough. Strategic bombers, tactical jet bombers. Cost 32,000 manpower, which I don't have that much of. Do that, that'd be fine. Yeah, it's definitely not lagging as much as it was when I was doing this off-screen. Holy cow. Good. Oh, and do some of this. I like destroying the air bases now. Kind of nice. Throw you right there. Uh, throw you right there, actually. That'd be good. Uh, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Submarine stuff, yes. Because I use subs all the time. Give them a little more push. Trying to break into Kentucky and Illinois is going to be a little bit of a problem. But Texas is nice and tasty. I love Texas. Good. Prince George. We have a lot of political power. Return Japanese lands. No thanks. I'm um, still on extensive conscription. We get about almost 20,000 manpower a month. I'm still suppressing my subjects. Even though some of them have razor autonomy a little bit. 
I think pretty much everyone has a razor autonomy if they can. Occupied puppet. Puppet. Sweet West Africa, Russian Republic, Bulgaria. Good stuff. Ooh, we're broken in Missouri. What a weird state. Missouri is just very weird in my mind. They want to be part of the Midwest, but they're not really. But they really are. This little boot of Missouri. I've been through here. Trying to get down to Arkansas. Very southern. I, when, I, <laughs> when I went to this little boot of Missouri, it's like, why are people speaking in southern accents? Isn't this supposed to be part of the Midwest? Yes, but no. But kind of. Sort of. It's a weird place. America's a weird place. But you know what's also weird? Mexico. Never been to Mexico. Might never go. Maybe I will. Probably not. I don't know. I have a passport, actually. Hmm. I should use it someday. But that costs money. And money's expensive to buy. Cool. Keep going, guys. Frankfurt. Um. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe don't keep going. Third International's kind of stalling out near Richmond. Actually, in Richmond. I would love to nuke a stormy Washington. Baltimore, Dover. There's a Dover, Delaware? Is that... That's Delaware. Wait. Delmarva? What the hell is Delmarva? Wait. Del... Has it always been like this? Huh. Oh, there goes Cleveland. Ooh. Can we do... Uh... And, ooh. I'll do that. Can we do... No. Nowhere else. Oh. Up oh, Chicago. Of course. I gotta do, do it in Chicago. Springfield? Oh, I've probably driven through there before. Uh... Columbus? I've driven through Columbus... I think I've driven through Pittsburgh once, too. Hmm. Never been to Buffalo. Ah, uh, the... It, these states are a little weird. They're part of the Midwest, but... Like, Indiana, Ohio... They're, like, part of the Eastern Coast time zone. It's weird. Oh, and we'll do it again. States are weird, man. States are real weird. Well, let's get, take a look at losses. I only have five nuclear reactors, I think. Seven. Seven. Not bad. Yeah, 5.8 million. It's not bad. 1.39. Uh, oh, there goes Cleveland again. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Everyone come here. Oh, how's this part of the NCR, or California, doing? Oh, we're losing political power. That's actually okay. Um, oh, you're still out of manpower. That's good. My... Oh, my manpower is going down. Union of Britain, how are you doing? Syndicalists. A lot of manpower, good amount of ships. You guys have a good amount of ships. You're led by Mr. Balding in the front half of his forehead. Daniel Gallin. Oh. Ah, uh, the German Republic. CNT FAI. Looking pretty good. Norwegian Union. Martin Algeria is looking pretty good. Coming to Morocco is looking pretty good. And China, well. We're looking the best. Mmm. Yummy. And we do have not 100% war support. Let you guys get organized first. As we're pushing through the south and, I guess, technically portions of the Midwest. Ah, uh, mechanized. Uh, mechanized. Ooh, improved anti air. Very good. Takes me until end game to actually get better anti air, which I'll never use. Doing pretty well in rocket artillery. Medium tanks could be improved. Approved. Let's swap out some of this armor division stuff. We're almost done using uh, medium tanks, finally. I did put some maintenance companies on these bad boys. That was a good idea. Ah, oh, there goes Columbus again. Motorized divisions. They're just mechanized with <laughs> modern SP artillery. Uh, I wish I could use these guys a little bit earlier. They're pretty good at speed. They got a lot of soft attack. Breakthrough's okay. Wish it was more. And I did throw on some support rocket artillery instead of maintenance companies just because I wanted more soft attack. Yeah, I wanted a lot of soft attack. Actually, if anything, you know what? Convert you guys. Good. Improve ship torpedo launcher. Oh, you have no strength. Oh, uh, that's good. Mechanized. We're do we're do we're really good on that too. Oh, there goes our strength. Way up now. I want to see you guys in action. Can you fight? Oh, you already defeated. He's already a bye-bye guy. Oh, another tank! I've... Since I started this war with America, I don't think I've created another tank division. Or, I mean, like, actually produced one. Now, can they pierce me? Oh, they can! Oh. Well, okay. Can you guys win here? Oh, yeah. You definitely can. Oh, yeah. Lee's been doing pretty well. 
No upgrades yet. Oh, we're in Mexico. Sunny beaches and the deserty part of Mexico. Um, Kansas. Oh, we're part of Kansas. Don't think I've ever been to Kansas. Planes, air bases. I mean, I guess we'll build stuff up. Supplies. I mean, I suppose so. It doesn't really matter. Mexico. Yeah. West Virginia. I think I've gone through. Yeah, I've been to West Virginia. Ah, Washington fell. Good. Good job, guys. Whoever controls Washington controls America for now. Yeah, we'll balkanize America into two halves. Ooh, Massachusetts. I've been up to here. I've been to Boston before. It's kind of cool. I saw... What did I see in Boston? I forget. I think part of Paul Revere's trail, I think. I saw some other stuff, too. I can't remember. It was a while ago. Hmm. Ohio's falling. That's good. I'm surprised that the Third International has to push more. But then again, seeing their divisions over here, it kind of makes sense. They haven't really invested into trying to invade. Oh, okay. They really hate Ohio for some reason. You know, I'm not a huge fan of Ohio. Just saying. Ohio's okay. But, you know, wh why? Okay, do it again. Sure, why not? Yeah, sure. Screw it. Let's do it. Just do it again, because why not? Pittsburgh. Hmm. Providence. What a... Just why? Why is Rhode Island so small? It's so tiny. Okay, how many more times can we nuke Ohio before they capitulate? Okay, there they go again. Okay, yep. Uh, they're pretty close to capitulating. 87% of the way there. That's good. Come on, do it one more time at least. One more time, guys. One more time. Ruin supply in there. You're gonna do it. Oh, there. They, they did it again. They did it again. Oh, can we... Wisconsin. I've been to Wisconsin several times. Can't do that. Milwaukee. Uh, Iowa. I... I don't think I've actually been to Iowa. Weird state. Denver, I would like to go to Colorado sometime. That'd be kind of cool. Just to see the geography. You know, you got the mountains there. You got some of the flatlands. I don't know. I think my dad wants to go to New Mexico. He really does, actually. Yeah. Phoenix. Never been to Phoenix. Never been out to this part of the West. I've been to San Diego once, though. Uh, at this point, keep expanding up here, too. Who's saying? Do you have anything for us? No, of course you don't. Oh, the Japanese are finding American convoys. Yeah. Been in San Diego once. Saw some family down there. They're all dead now. But whatever. Um, Mexico's coming kind of back. That's cool. Oh, it took Chicago. And Milwaukee. I don't think I've ever been to Milwaukee. Never been to Detroit. I've been up to Lansing. I've been down to Louisville. I've been down... Yeah, never been to St. Louis. I've been to Nashville. I've been to... Oh, when I was growing up. I used to live in North Carolina for all of you... Who might be interested? I was born in North Carolina in Charlotte. Been in Charleston probably once. Cool. Let's go ahead and divide this up. Um, annexing Canada? I don't think that's really my prerogative. Oh, and this is going to be a little laggy. So, I will see you in just a little bit after the peace deal is done because of the insane lag that Kaiser has. See you in just a moment. Alright guys, sorry about that. So, this is pretty much how the United States is going to look for a while. I have Alaska. Uh, I went a little crazy, I guess, I suppose. I did want to take a lot of these states just because I wanted the nice borders. Like I said, I wanted the south. I guess most of the regular south. And then the west. And then I figured, you know what? The Commune of France, you're still going to get, like, the other portions of the Midwest, like the CSA, the Combined Syndicates Midwest, as well as New England. I figured that would be pretty fair. And they also did release uh, the Brazilian Commune as a puppet, so. They got that. They got a good chunk of America. And I took the rest of it. I mean, you know, a lot of this territory is unoccupied. Um, yeah, pretty good. Other than that, let's see. There's really not much else to do that I would like to do in this campaign. And, of course, Canada's back. I need to give Vancouver Island back to the Canadians because I'm not a terrible tyrant. I am a social democrat. Then again, don't talk about this part of the country or this part of the country. But anyways, guys, that's the end of this campaign. The century of humiliation is over. So with that in mind, guys... If you like this series or this campaign, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow. In which we might start a new campaign. Maybe, maybe not. Anyways, guys, regardless, hope you enjoy this campaign, like I said. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day.